and uh, welcome to another edition of the Wine Review. I'm Ryan the Wine Guy. My friend Sean that uh, you've seen in the past few videos is not with me this evening, but uh, you all might remember Zeebs from some of my past videos in the background with the bears. He will be uh, joining me tonight as we go and um, try out the Framingham Sauvignon Blanc and New Zealand from the Marlboro region 2015 there we go 13% alcohol by volume um, runs you about $12-$13 not really sure where you can find this. I mean, I know the store I work at has it. It's kind of one of those, like, uh, if you're looking for something new type of wines. Not a very well-known winery by any means. Um, but I'm sure if you can find, as I said, a, a big liquor store that carries a huge selection of different types of wines, hopefully you'll be able to find this. It's imported by Evopton Inc. out of Stamford, Connecticut. Haven't had too many of their stuff. I don't think I've ever reviewed their stuff, and if I have, it may have been before I started saying who the importer was. That is a fly in the background, or might be a moth on my. Yeah, I see it flying around. It's annoying. Um, Framingham. 2015 Marlboro Sauvignon Blanc. One of, like, as you all know, New Zealand Sauvignon Blancs are like one of my favorites. At our boutique winery in the Waiara Valley, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, we craft expressive individual small batch wines with new world purity and old world complexity. This 2015 Sauvignon Blanc delivers punchy flavors of passion fruit, grapefruit, and red currant. Texture is enhanced by some barrel ferment and our signature mineral finish is retained. So it seems like this did have a little bit of barrel uh, age going on. The wine in general um, obviously is clear, it's a white wine, very, definitely does have a pale yellowness tint to it, Just maybe like a very uh, light sort of yellowness going on, um, not, not a dark yellow, just kind of like a I mean, it's, it's not like clear, so it has sort of like maybe a medium look going on, um, but it's not, it's not leaning towards like golden or amber um, in any means. Hmm. Definitely do get a little bit of that grapefruit going on. A little bit of like this citrus sassy twist going on. A little bit of lime. A little bit of green pepper. A little herbaceousness going on. Hmm. I want to say I get a little bit of papaya. A little bit of guava. Oh. 
Definitely a very clean smell. Maybe just a little bit of minerality, maybe a little bit of the sort of hints of little teeny hints of grassiness. Mine too. For 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 which comment? Which which comment not about mine too? Um, that's about all I'm kind of getting right now. It's just a sort of subtle nose. There's really nothing rushing up at you like sometimes Sauvignon Blancs hit you with the citrus, hit you with the grapefruit, hit you with the grassiness, hit you with uh, whatever. This is just sort of, lol, take a sip. I'm, I gotta explain, uh. Oh, favorite New Zealand wines. Okay, I see you. Um, yeah, well, you know, I like to sort of go into detail on my wines. Um, but yeah, um, just a nice sort of subtle uh, smell. So now for the... Um, now, now let's try it. What you've all been waiting for. Hmm. Hmm. Wow. Okay. Interesting take. Interesting take on this um this Sauvignon Blanc. It's it's a little different than others I've had. Um depending on where in New Zealand they are. Some come across as really citrusy and a hard kick in the mouth. Some come across as more sort of juicy and fruity. Just this nice little kind of um, smooth creaminess going on. This does have a light punch, um, a light punch to it, but this definitely does fall more on the smoothness side doesn't have a huge tart bite. Um, you definitely do get those nice Sauvignon New Zealand flavors. You get that grapefruit, you get that passion fruit. You definitely get, in my opinion, just little hints of sort of like a maybe light straw type um, taste to it. Maybe a little bit of sort of like sea salt going on. Um, but it's not a full-blown, like, hardcore um, kapow, as some can be. Which I don't mind. I don't mind that. Um, sometimes I like that. Sometimes I don't like that. Um, I was kind of going into this expecting it to maybe be sort of with a little bit of punch, but not so much. Let's see have some. Yes! Ha <laughs> ha! I will let Zeeves have he, Well, you saw him drinking it, so of course he likes to take. He likes to drink my wine. And that's the cat! Oh my god, I got everyone visiting me! <laughs> oh my gosh! That was awesome! Like, and that cat is Wonder. That's my, uh, that's my cat Wonder. Um, so yeah, um, definitely, definitely doesn't have. Huge on citrus bite to it, but you do get those nice um, grapefruit. Definitely a little bit of um, lemon lime zesty twist in there, but not to the full extent. Um, you know, this is easily something you can pair with uh, a lot of easy things: seafood, nice summer salad. Um, I would even do this with maybe. Chicken, maybe even a sort of maybe chicken with a light sort of spice on it. Um, easily drinkable by itself, as I said, it's not too harsh, not too punchy. Maybe just a little bit of punch in there. Um, 
but I, I mean, I, I, I really do think this sort of does have a little mellow out taste towards the end. Um, uh, like I said, we, we just got this in at work. I've never heard of them before. Um, but they're really good. Um, okay, well, uh, I've been having problems with my internet connection lately. It's always going in and out. So I'm going to try to end this on, um, end it right here by giving this a four and a half out of five. Um, very delightful wine, very crispy, refreshing wine, and as I said, without the huge punch. Just a little bit of punch to sort of make this Sauvignon Blanc the way it is, but definitely does have a nice smooth um, finish and just an overall nice refreshing night hot as it is getting these days. Um, so, and I've got the flies in the back. Well, anyway, um, this has been Zeebs. I, as always, am Ryan the Wine Guy. Um, and I look, and maybe my friend will join us here in the next few days. But until next time, everyone, cheers.